In this video, we're going to talk about two new kinds of variables. They're called global variables and launch variables. Let's go ahead and get started. First, we're going to talk about global variables. And a global variable is simply a variable that is stored in between runs. You can see I have a workflow here, and this workflow generates a story. And you can see that a global variable is marked by saying global dot and the variable name. Now, in this workflow, if we take a look at the workflow uh, a little closer, you can see I have some special syntax that we've discussed in uh, other videos, and we are telling it to either write the first chapter of the story, or if the story already exists, write the next chapter of the story. And then we want it to use Markdown for chapter titles. We then take the current version of the story and add a new chapter, and we save that as our total story. So every time we add a chapter, it will uh, save to the main story and then it will display it all back to us. So let's go ahead and see how this works. We're going to open the draft agent and then it's going to begin generating the first chapter of our story. So while this is generating, let's go ahead and take a look at our debugger here. And we should be able to see this new story here. Now, you can see here that when it resolves, there's no story yet. So we're going to write the first chapter of the story. And it begins writing that first chapter for us. It then saves that first chapter into this global dot story variable, this global variable, and then displays it to us. And so it looks something like this. So here's chapter one. And this global variable is actually stored in your project by going to the root folder. And you can see that there is this global variables tab here. And this shows us the current state of that global variable. So this is really good if you are referencing something that you've checked before or if you are adding to something like we are doing here. Now let's go ahead and we're going to run this again. We're going to reload the draft and it's going to take in that current first chapter and it's going to add to it because it has the data from that global variable that was stored in between sessions. So you can see here that now we have chapter one and it has added chapter two. And if we look in the debugger one more time, we can see that here we have the, uh, the story chapter one as context and then it begins uh, creating chapter two here and it adds chapter one and chapter two together and saves it to the result global dot story. So when we look back in our global variable here, we should now be able to see chapter one and chapter two as the stored value. And this can go on uh, indefinitely. So if we run it one more time, now it's pulling in chapter one and chapter two. So theoretically, it should create chapter three because it already pulled in the uh, context from that global variable. So that's how global variables work. Let's go ahead and move on to launch variables. And a launch variable is simply uh, a variable that is brought in from an external source. You can see here in this workflow that we have this user input. And when we run this agent using this user input, it is going to take these variables, these are regular variables, and run them through the workflow. But let's say we're going to run this programmatically. We're not going to run this with an end user in Mind Studio. Instead, maybe we have an automation like something inside of Make where someone can enter inf that information into a form. Well, we're going to want to send the information that we collect in the form through this Mind Studio workflow. And we do that using launch variables. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this user input. And you can see in the start block, we have configured these launch variables and we've named them the exact things that we uh, are using our user inputs for. So we actually don't need these user inputs anymore because we're bringing them in as launch variables, company name, our rep name, our rep title, and all of the company info. So now 
when this generates, it's going to bring in the launch variables and replace them with these variable names. And they're called using just the variable name here. So let's take a look at the workflow. I have this Google Forms, and this is a new lead form where we're gonna collect this information. We're then going to pass this information through the Mind Studio workflow, and you can see I'm sending in these same variable names, but the values are being pulled from the previous step in this make orchestration. And then we are applying this because all of this is going into a Google Sheet to create some collaterals and update the Google Sheet with those sales collaterals that are personalized for that new lead coming in. So let's take a look at how this works. I'm gonna fill out this new lead form and I have a sample company here. It's called Artisan Brewer Breweries Collective. And when I fill this in, I'm just gonna make up uh, some names here. So this is Alex Johnson, Director of Operations. And for the company info, let's say they give us uh, this document. So this is just for the example. So we get all of this context as to what this company does. And when we submit this, now the next time that this Mind Studio, or excuse me, this Make uh, uh, Automation Sequence runs, uh, it's going to pull the values from that form. It's going to send it through this Mind Studio app so we can now see that this is currently running here and it's pulling in these launch variables. Alex Johnson, Director of Oper Operations, the company name, the uh, company info, and it's using all of that information that we brought in from that Google form in order to get the output from that AI agent. Now you can see here that right now this collateral section is empty. However, in our sequence, you can see it just appeared once the sequence was finished, uh, the very, the output of this AI agent was then passed back up into this parent orchestration inside of Make, and then it updates the Google Sheet with that sales collateral. So now we can utilize this sales collateral here on the right in our own emails or however we'd like. So quickly to recap, that is launch variables and global variables. Launch variables are simply variables that are brought in at the beginning of the workflow and they're usually brought in when you're running Mind Studio agents either via API or via a large orchestration platform. And then global variables are simply variables that are stored in between runs. So you can save this as a value and then reference it uh, in between runs and you can add on to this global variable or you can simply uh, reference it and then replace it like if you were going to uh, monitor website changes or something like that. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you learned something valuable. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. If you liked the video, don't forget to drop us a like and subscribe to our channel for more updates to Mind Studio. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.